Hey everyone, this is Michael from Hustle Sheets and I wanna show you what I think the best, um, how the best way to use drop down menus in Google Sheets is. So um, the whole point is to create something like this where if we wanna fill in some data, so for example, the date, you can just double click here, choose a date, select a list from agent names, uh, maybe select the payment type, uh, let's see the dollar amount, and then we can select a status like waiting or received, something like this, right? So uh, most people, uh, let me show you how to use it, how to even just get a drop down list, right? So let me delete this for you right away. So I'm gonna right click everything, highlight everything and select remove validation to bring it back to the original. And then let's say we want this entire thing to be a drop down for dates, right? So you're gonna highlight everything you want to have a drop down menu. So I highlighted everything, then I'm gonna right click and click on data validation. Now if I want it to be a date, what I'm gonna do is click, um, the criteria I'm going to uh, the drop down menu then I'm going to click date and then it says is a valid date and then just hit save right now if I double click it now a calendar is going to pop up now if if I have like a like a list of agent names and I don't want to type it in and the whole reason you don't want to type it in is because a lot of times people will type in the data and they won't type it in the same every single time so let's say the name is Michael someone might type it in like this another person will type it in like this Someone might type it in like this and add a space to the end. And then this makes it really hard to keep your data all the same and it's gonna cause a lot of issues. So what I wanna do is I wanna highlight the same as before. I'm gonna highlight everything where I want the drop down menu. I'm gonna right click and click on data validation. Now, if I wanted to, I can just type in Michael in here. I can click on list of items, click on Michael and then separate each one by a comma. So I can type in Adam, type in David, whatever, and click save. And if I do that, then it's gonna work how you want it to work, right? But what happens if you wanna change um, this drop-down menu? You have to go back and highlight it. You have to go back and highlight it, and then right-click it, data validation, and then delete all the names, right? Now this is uh, kind of annoying and it's not a, the best way to scale it because if you have this drop, if you let's say you have agent name in multiple places, I'm gonna show you where you can change it only in one place. So I'm gonna remove the data validation. So what I do for all my sheets is I create a tab called dropdowns. And then there I type in, okay, so let's say I want dropdowns for agent name, status, and payment type. I'm gonna type in the name of the columns here, and then I'm gonna type in exactly the names that I want that, that I want in here. So I'm gonna type in Michael, Adam, and David, right? And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna highlight this again, right click it, on data valid click on data validation now it automatically goes to list from range so i'm going to keep it here this means that the list is going to come from a range from somewhere else so i'm going to click on this little square where it says select data range and then now this is going to pop up i'm going to click on my drop down menus tab and under the same section where it says agent name i'm going to highlight all of this data so this way so i'm just going to go from a2 to a so it highlights basically all of it right and then I'm gonna click on okay. And then click save. And now if I go back to my original, you'll see I have Michael here, Adam here, same as before. The only difference now is that if I wanna add a name to this list, let's say I get a new agent, all I do is go to drop downs and I add in a name. Let's say this name is, um, I don't know, um, Kanye or Kanye, let's add John and James. Now, if I click on here, now automatically you see Kanye, John, and James, right? So now I can just add or I can even delete a name. Let's say we removed Michael or Adam. If I go back here, you'll see here that there's an error because Adam's on that list and Adam's not a selection anymore. So this is a really fast way for you to just um, be able to add things. And also, if you want to keep it in alphabetical order, for example, you can just highlight the list of names, right click it, click sort range, um, just leave it the way it is and click sort. And now all of your items will come in alphabetical order. So now you're able to just start typing in. Let's let's say you don't want to use the drop down menu. You don't want to click on it. You can also just type, start typing the word Michael and then press the down arrow and then press enter and it will select it. Now let's do this for every other one. So I'm going to highlight this. This is now the status column. List from range, click on select data range then I'm gonna highlight all of this down. I can highlight all of this down or I can just begin highlighting it and then just delete the very last number. So now it's just B2 to B. Click okay, save. 
Now, if you see here, all my statuses are here. I can also add in new status. So I can type in new status. And you see now that it's going to pop up, right? And then same for payment type. I'm going to highlight this, right click it, select this range. And now if you see here, everything is perfect. And then I can also do this in multiple places. So let's say I have another tab where I want to type in the agent name. I can just highlight this, same as before. Um, I'm going to change it. I didn't highlight all of it, so I just deleted the, the last number. I can click on the select range, and then I can use this same list, the same list, right? Now you see here that on my uh, separate tab, sheet three, now I have this as well. Now, if I want to update this list, I don't have to go into both of these tabs and, and right click it and then you know do all this stuff. I can literally just change it right here. I can just add in new name. And if you go to sheet three, new name will be here. And this will also be here. So this is a great way of doing it. I also added in something extra. So for example, if my status is received, then it'll turn green, right? And I have a different video in my YouTube channel to show you exactly how to do this. So I won't go through this, but I'll link it in the description below. So this is a really great way to use drop-down menus. I use it for all of my sheets. The only time that I don't have a list like this is if I know 100% in the future, like my values and my drop-down list aren't going to change. Like for example, sometimes if it's yes, no, if my drop-down items are just yes, no, I might not. I might not do a list, but literally every other time I always make sure that I have a tab called drop downs and then I link it as a drop down list range from all of my other tabs. So let me know if you guys have any other questions, if this helps. Um, if you like it, make sure to like and subscribe for more tutorials like this. Thanks a lot, guys. Oh, one more thing. I'm going to leave a link um, to this uh, Google Sheet in the description. So just open it, go to file, make a copy, and then you can play around with this. Thanks a lot, guys.